Many different types of extreme weather can happen in West Michigan, but one type we never see and probably never will is volcanoes. Well, yeah, yes. Yes. Yeah. All right. right. So Candace Monticelli is live now to teach us more about that in today's weather experiment. Hey, Candace. Good morning. It's a good thing we will uh, really never see volcanoes, but they're really fun to learn about, even though they are destructive and uh, pretty dangerous. It's interesting what happens on the inside. So we're going to learn a little bit today with our experiment. And here's a list of what you need to get started. First, a bottle or a jar, one cup of room temperature water, a fourth cup of vegetable oil, and salt. So first you wanna take your jar or bottle, pour a cup of that room temperature water in there, and then a fourth a cup of vegetable oil, just pour it right on top. Now oil and water, these are immiscible liquids. So they're not going to mix together. Everything with this experiment is with the salt. So then just pour a little bit of salt on top. You're going to start to see a video of this up close so you can get a better look at it because what's happening here is now the salt, this is falling to the bottom of the jar. The salt is dissolving, but then the oil is rising back to the top. So oil is less dense than water. That's why it floats on top of the water in the jar. But salt is denser than water, and that's why it sinks and then dissolves to the bottom. But that oil, it's clinging on to the salt as it drops to the bottom. But even as that salt drags that oil down, that oil is still less dense than the water. So the whole time, it's going to fight to get back up to the top. And that's when you're going to start to see a little bit of a salt volcano, almost look like a lava lamp uh, in here going on as that oil keeps rising back up to the top. So this whole process can be related back to volcanoes because volcanoes form when magma from the Earth's upper mantle gets pushed upward and erupts out in the way of lava or ash. I'm sure we've all seen pictures or video of it, but volcanoes, when they're at rest and not erupting, that magma contains a lot of dissolved gas. But when pressure changes within the volcano and outside of the volcano, that dissolved gas within the magma, it starts to expand and it starts to make tiny little gas bubbles. Those tiny little gas bubbles, they're gonna fight to get out and erupt out of the top because they're much more, uh, much less dense rather than the rest of the magma. So that density difference is going to push that magma outward, just like how that difference density difference, push that oil back to the top here. So pretty cool way to uh, learn about volcanoes, experiment with this at home. If you do so, take pictures and send me them on Facebook. I love seeing all those uh, kids learning during this time. And there's a full list of instructions on fox17online.com.